2019 will go down as one of the toughest years to put up hay. In most areas, a long, wet spring pushed production way behind schedule. Indeed, a weather year like this drives home the value of having reliable equipment and machinery that's ready to go when you are. Cattleman to Cattleman reporter Brad Bulla takes us to Montana to see how producers there tackled their hay season. With mountains all around, western Montana is beautiful country. Rainfall is limited here, but even so, this is an outstanding place to raise both cattle and hay. We started the cattle herd back in the early 80s when I came to Dillon, and it was just kind of a small group of cows. And as we acquired more ground, we acquired more cattle. So now we probably have about uh, 1,500 mother cows. We are a cow-calf operation, uh, run just over 1,000 cows, have about 800 irrigated acres of cropland. The advantage of Dillon is, is the cool nights, warm days in the summer, low humidity, so that makes hay production idea. We don't have a lot of rain, especially once we get into July and August, um, so that makes for high quality hay. Like all those making hay, these Montana producers keep a close eye on the weather because for them, the window of opportunity to get hay cut, baled, and out of the field is especially short. With the winters that we've been having in Montana, we've gone from having farming windows of you know three to four weeks down to just days and with that unknown out there when it's time to go it, it is helpful to be able to get out and get more hours in at any hour. This elevation here in Beaverhead County we have a very tight harvest. Um, I mean we don't typically start first cutting hay till the end of June and we only do two cuttings and uh, the reason for that is we can have a hard frost by Labor Day so we only have about 60 to 70 growing days frost free growing days. So that's that's tough. So when we have to put up hay, we have to do it in a timely manner. David Schuett is a part owner of Frontline Ag Solutions, a John Deere dealer with 10 locations across Montana. For David and for cattle and hay producers in the area like him, the service and parts availability from John Deere is a critical advantage. Invariably, I'll have a breakdown. Uh, I don't care how new your equipment is. Um, it happens. The, but the beauty of deer is, if we don't have it at the dealership, it'll be here at 10 o'clock in the morning. And I mean, we're pretty isolated here. You know, we're, we're 150 miles to a major airport. So deer's dealer network is unrivaled as far as parts go. Sometimes I think that the cost of ownership is where we need to look, that a lot of times you can't afford to have the breakdowns, the downtime that you do with other equipment. Um, and so that is really important to us is, is when it's time to go that we are able to go, and that's really what we look at. These producers believe another way John Deere delivers is by continuing to innovate, offering a variety of features and new technology on every piece of machinery in the hay field. Our farming tractor has auto track, which allows us to run more hours of the day, get done quicker. Uh, you don't have to see as much at night, so we can run pretty much around the clock and get done faster, much faster. I mean, my guys will work 14 to 16 hours a day when we're, we're in the heat of, heat of the harvest or, or haying or, or tillage work in the spring. And with auto track, it's unbelievable how much better attitude is of my crew. Um, we go through a tremendous amount of acres. We farm probably, in the spring, we farm probably about seven to 8,000 acres, and then we hay almost 20,000 acres, not only our own, but for other people. So those guys put in a lot of time and a lot of, lot of sleepless nights and the, the John Deere innovation really eases their workload. I also see our producers who, you know, they get tired in the day and they, they can't go out and put an eight hour day in, in a swather. All of a sudden you show them how the auto track works in it, they're putting 12 hours a day in, they're getting 120 acres done a day. I mean, it just, everything's simpler. They're getting their, their hay knocked down faster, they're avoiding the storm. They're getting it into the bell faster. Um, the other thing that's been a big boost for the John Deere balers the last two years is they've come out with the accumulator so that we don't have to stop and uh, we don't have to stop to unload. We can wrap the bales, put them on the, on the accumulator, and then we can drop them in the field. Well, some people think, what was well, that such a big deal? But if you're putting up 30,000 round bales and you can pick them up with your stackers in a line, that's huge. Those stackers aren't wasting near as much time. So that's probably been one of the biggest innovations of recent time. 
you're easier on your equipment, you're being more productive, you're being more fuel efficient, you're getting the max amount of work done in a day, and, and it pays for itself at the end of the day. Bottom line for these producers, making the best hay possible for their cattle each year. And they believe their John Deere gear helps them get that job done. Reporting from Western Montana, I'm Brad Bulla for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. Now, if you'd like to learn more about how equipment from John Deere can bring value to your farmer ranch, visit the website johndeere.com.